As a young beginning architect, I was lucky enough to meet Paul Kirk, who was one of the finest architects of the Northwest. I was beginning to learn about the international style and Mies van der Rohe and Gropius and those people. But what Paul Kirk did is take a lot of those ideas and turn them into kind of a nature-loving architecture as well, using those simple lines but with natural materials and for the purpose of really, you know, being part of the environment as opposed to standing out from the environment. That is something that has stuck with me very much. This cabin, in many ways, it's like a little nest. The intention was to have it feel like it had always been here in this woods and was part of it. The trees were growing right up out of the sides. The colors come right up off the beach and out of the woods. It is a lot like what an animal would build in nature using the materials that are available. When you're inside the house, it's all about looking out and experiencing nature in different ways. The windows are all designed to sort of look into the woods and frame nature the way we might frame art in a different house. In the back, you can lie in bed and look up and you look into the treetops from below and you might see an eagle go by or a hummingbird or something and then at night you see the stars. By underlining nature that way you really uh, see it much better. I loved as a kid and still do lying on my back in the woods looking up through the trees with the sunlight hitting the leaves and you get that wonderful soft glowing kind of green color. We have lots of very straight fir trees in the Northwest, and they almost form sort of cathedral-like spaces in the woods with light beaming down through and all that. All those kinds of things you, you just learn by observing nature.